Hello and welcome to this training video. In this video I'm going to show you how to add a CD into Windows Media Player and then how to rip one or two of the tracks from that CD so that the CD so that the CD is stored in Windows Media Player and it's no longer and that means you can take the CD out and play those tracks straight from your computer instead of needing the CD. The example that I'm going to be using today is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. That's for Christian because we know that Christian is very motivated by the story of Harry Potter but this technique can be used for anyone really. Anyone who's motivated by music um, or any storybook which is on CD. Okay, so when you load up Windows Media Player, you should be seeing something like this. Um, and down here, we've just got all of the different um, places that Windows Media can grab content from in order to play it within itself. And what we want is we just want to click here for the Harry Potter. Now, um, you can oh, let's just so you can see that it automatically starts to play, which is not necessarily what, what we want now. In this view, you can see that down here it's number one going all the way down to 67. They are all the different tracks of this book, um, and they're all ticked so if we left it as it is now and we click clicked on this thing which is a ripping CD and what ripping CD means is that just it's the process of taking the contents of the CD and then recording them onto your computer itself if we were to select rip CD now it would actually take it would actually record the whole of the CD which is not what we want really because that's just going to overload the computer a bit so maybe if we just If we just kind of, you can see up there that you've got a, like a master tick control box. Um, so I've just ch checked it so that none of the tracks of the CD are selected. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select tracks one and two. And then I'm going to do um, the rip CD option. And then you get this box here, which is all about copyright protection. Um, what we're doing is perfectly legal so you can just put that there do not add copyright protection and then click here that you understand exactly what that means click OK OK and then you've got a progress bar here and here telling you how we're doing so what we're doing is we're adding these um, tracks or the chapters from the book straight onto the CD and once we've got these um, these recordings on the CD uh, sorry from the CD onto the computer then they're ready to be used with other programs so that Christian himself can control the retelling of this story thank you for watching this video and best of luck when you do this